Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to drive around in your garage online in Grand Theft Auto 5, but before this video begins, if you guys could just take a few seconds of your time to click the like button as it would help me out greatly, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, let's get on with the video. So to begin with, what you want to do for this glitch is go inside your garage and then get inside a vehicle which you want to drive around. Once you're inside your vehicle you want to hold down on the D-pad and you want to then hover over a story mode character. You want to then drive your vehicle forward and release the down button so it then selects the story mode character and it will then ask you whether you want to quit the session. You then want to select no so of course on Xbox you want to press the B button or on PS3 you want to press circle and by doing this it will then take you back into the game and you'll be able to drive your vehicle around your garage. So as you can see I'm doing this with my pickup truck and because it's a large vehicle I can drive straight over the other vehicles in my garage. You can of course do this glitch with any vehicle which is inside your garage, however I recommend doing this glitch with the motorbike, as the motorbike is the smallest vehicle and you can use it to get through every space which is inside your garage. You can also get off the motorbike by driving into walls which will make you fall off your motorbike, whereas if you're driving a car you cannot get out of the vehicle unless you leave the game or find a new session. I guess what you could also do is empty your entire garage and just leave one vehicle so you have the entire space to then drive around and do pretty much whatever you want. This glitch is very easy to do and just to show you how easy this glitch is, I'm going to be showing you how to do it for a second time. So what you want to do is get inside a vehicle which you want to drive around, you want to then hold down on the d-pad and then hover over a story mode character, you want to then drive your vehicle forward and then select the story mode character and it will then ask you whether you want to quit the session and of course then press no and you will then be able to drive around inside your garage. You can definitely have a lot of fun with this glitch, especially if you invite friends or random people from an online game into your garage, and of course when they come inside, they're definitely going to be wondering how you did this glitch, and you could possibly get some very good reactions out of this. So there you have it guys, this is how you drive vehicles inside your garage, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, for those of you that are watching this video on the day that I upload it, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, and for those of you that are watching this after Christmas, well I hope you had a very good day, and for those of you that do not celebrate Christmas, I just hope the day was generally very good for you. But anyway guys, if you could just take a few seconds of your time to click the like button as it would help me out greatly, also be sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me what you thought, also be sure to subscribe to my second channel, there will be a link in the description, and if you guys haven't subscribed to my main channel, I recommend you do, as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All the stars have faded Cause they don't wanna see what we've done And who could blame them Who wanna shine their light on us? If the